Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Knights of the Eternal Throne. Now, when we left off, we had just arrived back in Odessan, and hopefully going to complete Chapter 5, and then go on to Chapter 6. So I'm going to need to speak to Lana Benico in the hangar here, and Zaylan's obviously quite happy to be back home. Good news, Commander. I've collated every data file recovered on Iacath. Some of the technical readouts could enhance the gravestone. We need every advantage. The ship will remain dry docked until the upgrades are complete. It'll be some time before it's ready for action. Our scout reports Iacath's radiation levels are still dangerously high. They disrupt navigation, at comm signals. We can't get close enough to explore. And we've seen nothing of Scorpio, assuming she did merge with Iacath. I think we've seen the last of her. When we parted ways, she seemed almost happy. It's more than she deserves. Regardless, we have no way of knowing when Iacath will be safe to explore again. When that changes, you'll be the first to know. There has been no change in Senya's condition. The doctors have done all they can. The rest is up to her. Senya deserves to live. She sacrificed everything for her son. She believes in Arkan's redemption. But so far, he hasn't done anything to prove her right. Alliance intelligence won't stop hunting Arkan. We will find him. I've been meaning to ask. How did you defeat Valen aboard the Gravestone? I didn't. Valkorion triggered conditioning buried deep in Valen's mind. She wanted to strike me down, but she couldn't. I see. That must be agonizing for Valen. But it's good news for the Alliance. Despite all we've endured, we're stronger than ever. Do not surrender to self-delusion. If not for my conditioning, Valen would rain death upon this world. You are strong, but you are never safe. I need a fleet that obeys my commands without question. Give it to me. Connecting to Gemini frequency. Resetting all units to default programming. Reset complete. Awaiting input. Vessel 9947. Destroy vessel 3265. Ah, everything is so much better when we know our place. We've got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valence regained control of the Gemini droids. If Scorpio freed the Geminis once, she may help us do it again. Can we contact her? Our only option is to remove Valen from power, but she's nearly untouchable on the spire. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indo's are. Magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Valen. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. Double-crossing Valen is no small risk. We'll make sure you're protected. Esne's eyes, you're as noble as they say. 
Have we confirmed this isn't a trap? Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty. Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive. But I'll secure invitations, disguises, everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. That party will be full of civilians. I won't risk catching them in the crossfire. If all goes according to plan, you'll have nothing to worry about. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends, a host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. An enemy of Valen is a friend of mine. I'll do whatever I can to ensure their safety. I knew I was right to cast my lot with you. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Welcome to the Alliance, Endo. That gave me tingles. I'll make preparations straight away. Let's free an empire. Everyone, gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate Zakul and crash Valen's party. I'm gonna say, I actually really like Indozal. I mean, he's he's kind of a bit weird, but that's kind of why I like him as well. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what we can do about going and boarding the transport in the military hangar. Where am I going? Is this the right way? Yes, it is. All right, let's see what happens when we infiltrate the party. I'm actually gonna look forward to some of the responses that we get from Theron, I think. The stage is set for my daughter's ruin. Strike her down, and this empire will be yours to command. I won't be your assassin. If I can remove Valen from power without bloodshed, I'll do it. After all you've seen, you still cling to empathy. It will be your undoing. We're approved for landing. Endo really pulled through with our disguises. Let's suit up before we make landfall. We are family. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Excellent form. If you want something, spit it out. Your guests are arriving. They toast your name and hungrily await your speech. And the rebels. Adorned with shock collars as you requested. The party must be perfect. If you disappoint me... I'll watch you sizzle. can't see a thing in this blasted disguise. How do we look? If I didn't know better, I'd think you were the night captain. I'll take that as a compliment. Let's find Endo. Yeah, it's Leds, but I think he's, he's probably going to be in some trouble, but who knows. Anyway, this unfortunately means that my sprint ability is going to be disabled, so I will be very, very slow. I don't think Knights of Zakul are this slow, are they? Well, maybe. Guests. Tonight, we celebrate our glorious leader, the one and only Empress Valen! Yes, yes, we are celebrating her, but anyway... It seems like we have to sneak into the party, and I well, I have obviously done this before, so there's going to be a bunch of objectives we're going to need to complete. Exiting the party is strictly forbidden. 
But honestly, who'd ever want to cut such a fantastic evening short? Yes, who exactly? Well, yes, these are the guys that we have to avoid. Guard. If we're not careful, they'll see right through these disguises. Exactly. The Horizon Guard will see through our disguises, so I think what I have to do is I actually have to go upstairs. Don't I, or do I have to go round? I think I have to go round first, actually. Ah, uh, yes. I've forgotten the sequence of events that I actually need to partake in, but obviously, I think we're probably going to get given a bit of help as time goes on, because we're going to get a hint ability, and the hint ability is probably going to help us very much so. Is that a loading screen? Did they literally just port a loading screen into one of these holographic screens right here in the party? Well, that's rather amusing. Obviously, they translated the basic language into some alien text, probably as a coolant, of course, but that's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Anyway, it seems like I'm going to get around here. The dark side grows stronger as I do. All right, so it seems like we may have found the right way. Oh, yes, we have. Mana, we're in the party. Do you read me? Loud and clear. We're plugged into spa security, ready to assist. My favorite knights. Welcome to the Grand Festival of Empress Valen. We must be careful. The Hullinet drones are broadcasting this party for all the galaxy to see. Valen wants to make an example of the rebels. We need to free them before it's too late. I'm with you there, my friend. Removing those shock collars won't be easy. You have any tricks up your sleeve? That I do. Party favors? Ion charges to attach to the security relays. Trigger them during Valen's big speech. The blast will disable the collars, leaving my compatriots free to join your attack. Tell the rebels to keep away from the Horizon Guards. I'll handle the elite forces myself. Right. Avoid the scary ones with lightsabers. I'll keep the party going while you set the charges. But once the task is done, we'll show the Empress what we're made of. You will need to use your wits if you're going to infiltrate Valen's palace and sabotage the security relays, explore the environment, search for clues, and talk to people within the palace. If you need help, use the hint ability. Now, of course... I found it a little bit weird because we're quite conspicuous in that little corner there. It wasn't even a corner and we weren't even covered and Indo was talking to two knights of Zakul, which, yeah, I'm sure he probably would, but I, I, I don't know. It seemed a little bit too conspicuous for my liking. But anyway, let's use our hint ability first and see what we have to do. Yeah, speak to the barracks guard on the upper floor. There's also something around here that we have to do, but we can't do that yet because there's... A force field. Alright, so we're on the upper floor here, and this is the barracks. Now, we're obviously going to speak to this Knight of Zakul. No entry until shift change. Unless you've got our food order. Yes, exactly. Our food order. Okay, so, yes. Now, that just activates the next stage, which is to speak to... I think the kitchen attendant. Yes, the kitchen attendant is all the way down there. So, let's jump down. And we'll speak to him. And that will allow us to go and get the food for the guards. I'm sorry, but Here, the kitchen's off limits. Help. We've got clearance. You need confirmation, take it up with Endo Zal. I'll take your word for it. I've had enough of Endo to last me a lifetime. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> it's kind of a bit weird. Apparently, you could just go in here and just be like, Oh, yes, um, I'm affiliated with Endo Zal. And then people are just like, Oh, no, not him. And, yes, then they allow Actions you to the do anything, basically. But, anyway, now I have to go back upstairs to the barracks. So here we are with the dinner order for the knights, and let's see what happens. Anyone order food? It's about time. Go on in before they chew their arms off. Yes, apparently they're about to chew their arms off. Well, that's not too good. Anyway, let's do it. The food's here. Finally. Thanks for dropping it off. 
Well, there you go, yes. I, I wouldn't expect them to actually say thank you or anything, but thank you, Captain Frem, for getting out the way, because we want to get this Knight Captain's Captain shield. shield. With any luck, this will get us behind closed doors. Exactly. That will get us behind closed doors, and that will mean that we can actually head into more secure areas. I'm going to open up this door console, though, because there's definitely something I want to do here. And that is this. holograms of Empress Valen can be picked up in the reception area. Let her light up your home today. We have had a breakthrough. I remember the last idiot who made that kind of promise. I'm still finding bits of him in my hair. I am confident in the results. You will soon be freed from your weakness. Prepare for my arrival. Oh, but first, I have traitors to kill. <gasps> Charge is set. We're almost there. Gotta say, I actually find that a bit weird how they did that because, yes, Indo was listening, but maybe he doesn't want to interrupt her? I mean, yeah, he probably just wants to wait outside and uh, until she's finished and then he'll be like, oh yes, I, I had this business to bring to your attention and so on and so forth. But apparently that was not the way it was going to go. So anyway, let's go across and I think they'll probably... Oh, I think I may have gone the wrong way. Did I... Did I go the wrong way? Maybe not, actually, because there might be something we can do around the side here. I thought maybe the upper floor would be no. he was probably best, be. but... Ah. But still, he turned his oh, back yep, us. there we go. That's what we like to see. So, now we just have to go around here, and then we can go downstairs and do the next one as well. I think we might be able to. Well, oh, there's, there's that. Okay, that was easy enough. And then we can go downstairs, and I think we can go and get a maintenance key card. I think. I think the maintenance key card is down here as well, which is fantastic, because obviously that makes makes a huge difference in where you're allowed to go. And I think it's isn't it here? Yeah, there it is. Don't get me started. I need to give a blood sample just to use the bathroom. There we go. You quietly take it. You quietly take the foreman's badge, and then obviously we do want to head in there at some point, but not just yet. That is obviously a bonus mission. And we can do that in the barracks, I think? I think we could have done that in the barracks. Oh, no, wait. Maybe it's actually in the command center. I think it's actually in the command center. Anyway, we now have access with the maintenance key to somewhere else. I think we can actually go upstairs around here, can't we? Yes, we can. We can, but there are Horizon Guards upstairs. Ah, that's terrible. But there is another node around here, so I suppose we'll just do this one first. There we go. Okay, fantastic. There we go. And the Beast Pens are down there. Oh, hello! There seems to be a Rancor called Junior, of course. Anyway, I think this will be a good a time as any to end this episode off here. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.